Good morning and welcome back to another episode of uh, My Reflection where I'm going to share with you one thing that I achieved, one thing that I learned and one thing that I find out that I need to fix and I'm going to do it for Tuesday which was yesterday so let's, got, let's start with achievement we, it took us some time and thinking but eventually we came up with something that we call the complexity canvas it's a, it's a canvas, it has six sections Five of them depict uh, different processes that actually start complexity. So what you have to do is to put in each and every section the element that you believe that is related to certain process and the processes are predefined that can create complexity or creating complexity. As you have more information in each one of those five different sections, it means that probably you are dealing with more complexity and the sixth one is actually a way to see whatever complexity is actually existing to which level uh, and it's also give you indication whatever the state is manageable or about to be unmanageable very powerful uh, we used it on several uh, clients uh, retroactive after we, we learned about the system and we are uh, pretty excited to share it in the future for everyone once it will be more stable but definitely we believe a better way to help organization to pretty simple define well, what are the elements that cause complexity in your organization or company and what is the level of complexity so that's the complexity canvas uh, the second thing is what uh, i learned so no in each and every organization there are people in the middle on one hand, above them, there are processes. On one hand, below them, there are technologies. And there is organizational depth between the gap that exists processes between processes and people. And there is a technological depth that exists between people and technologies. And many use, people are rushing to use RPA to fill those gaps. And I think this is a classical example where we are patching very dangerous patching instead of resolving the problem so in order to resolve the problem you have to understand what is the root cause and you have to redesign the system in order to resolve the problem or to prevent the problem from coming again when you are patching you just buy time so you are not resolving anything actually you're increasing your technical depth by using rpa to mitigate existing technical debt and organizational technical debt. So just be aware of it and think carefully before you are making a common mistake that will come later on and bite you. And last but not least, one thing that I find out that I need to fix and that uh, something that, uh, you know, it's, it's go ups and downs. So now we are a little bit of a down after two weeks that I um, was busy with more personal stuff uh, getting back to high cadence of meetings with people discuss complexity uh, present uh, what we thought get opportunities something that uh, we need to get back on track and something that definitely i need to fix uh, in a shorter time than i can and that's uh, the session for today so i hope that you enjoy it Keep yourself self yeah again huh? keep yourself safe and healthy and uh, probably I'll sh see you or check with you tomorrow to share with you what happened today. Bye. <laughs>